Hello, I'm Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for your Virgo Taroscope, specifically for money and career. We're going to ask the cards for your past, present and future concerning that topic. I wish you all a beautiful celebration time, whether you celebrate Christmas or Yule or Hanukkah or whatever it is for you. I hope you can get all the food you can ever eat. <laughs> For me, this is the celebration of food. <laughs> so, now let's not lose any time and go right into shuffling. And as usual, I will do a little bit of cleansing the air at first. And you can see in the timestamps below at what time the reading starts. Um, I wanted to thank you for being here. And thank you for already more than 1,400 subscribers. I feel really honored. First, we're cleansing the air here with a little bit of sage. Beautiful. So Virgo, what's the information for Virgo, please? Angels and spirit guides, please guide our beautiful Virgos out there concerning their money and career life. I would love to see one card for the past, one card for the present and one for the future, please. Please give Virgo the information for their money and career life, please. Money and career for Virgo, please. Money and career for Virgo, please. Any information inside this deck, please, for money and career for Virgo. Okay, this one. Seven of Wands. Someone's feisty. For the present, we have the moon. And is there anything for the future, for money and career here? Money and career future for Virgo, please. Money and career future. Temperance. Okay, let's clarify this with another deck. Angels and spirit guides, would you please guide my beautiful Virgo? on their money and career life. We would like to have a clarifier, please, for the past, present, and future here. Thank you, wow. <laughs> we have Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. That's amazing because we wanna see Pentacles in a money and career reading, right? Anything for the future? Two of Swords, somebody has to make a decision here. Okay, that's great. That is great. I think we're done shuffling. Maybe we're gonna get another positive affirmation card for you guys. Is there any positive affirmation in here? For the Virgos out there, please. The Virgos out there. Positive affirmation. Yes, we even have two. <laughs> oh, beautiful. There is no limit to what I can do and become, and I will start from a place of gentleness. That's so beautiful. Okay, now I'm done shuffling and we'll go right into your reading. your money and career reading. The first card that fell, the seven of wands in your past. This is a feisty energy. So in the past, you had to, you maybe had some competition and you had to stand your ground. So what you did was you stood there, you said your truth, you were fully in self-expression and you were defending yourself against these attacks from the outside. So you um, basically, you, you had some kind of rivalry. So there were rivals trying to put you down, telling you you're not able, you're not a very... They, they said something like um, you were, you're not competent, but you said, of course I am. I have not only the competence, I have the education, I have the experience, I'm really good. So you didn't let them bring you down, you stood your ground against these rivals. That's very good and you were protecting yourself. Then in the present you have the moon. So with the moon you are trusting your intuition, you are um, maybe having some vivid dreams and you should maybe keep a journal next to your bed so that you don't forget the dreams and you can look up the dream symbols online. 
Um, it's also talking about surrendering to divine will, even though you don't know where your way is taking you. Yeah, it's basically like standing on a ship going overseas, but you have no idea where you will end up. Yeah. And you're just accepting that situation. You're saying, yes, I trust the divine. I trust that this is my way. I trust that I'm on the right ship, even though I do not know where it takes me. <laughs> so you're, you're basically um, letting go of all worry. And this is why, this is exactly why you're freeing yourself. As soon as you let go of worry, you're free and you can just relax and drop into the situation. So there might be some uncertainty around you. Maybe you are in between jobs and you don't know where your next job will be. Yeah, there is some kind of uncertainty, but you're surrendering to it and you're trusting the universe. Then for your future, we have temperance. Temperance is very good for your future because is, uh, it is just like the moon, a major arcana card. And it's also talking about uh, tapping into your um, purpose, your true life's purpose. Why? Because here you can see she's tapping her toe into the water. That means tapping into the flow. Yeah, water is flowing and you want to get into that flow state. When you work, you want to get into a flow state and where your creative mind is on, where you get the best ideas. Yeah, so you're tapping into that and also it's talking about balance. So you're balancing your male and female side, you're balancing your yin and yang. You're trying to find balance in your life. Yeah, and that's a good thing. Uh, it's also talking about being very patient, which is what we need when we are really uh, in such a uh, situation where we don't know what the future will look like. Yeah, When we are in uncertainty, then we need this patience to get through that. Um, and it's really, yeah, about tapping into your personal, into your personal flow of life, like finding out where you really belong. And it's about the ever-changing circumstances because you can see here that she is pouring water from one cup into the other. She goes like swoosh, swash, swish, swash. So you're basically cleansing out your inner self by just um, moving in between dual, um, not two, po yeah, two poles. You're moving between two poles, you know, and you're trying to navigate this. You're trying to navigate between truth and lies between your true purpose and the thing you just do for money your you know all of these different dualities that we have in in our lives yeah you're trying to navigate your ship through these extreme dualities and you're trying to find the golden middle way and then as a clarifier for your past we had the queen of pentacles yeah so the queen of pentacles was clarifying the seven of wands so when you were defending yourself in the past against your rivals you were reaching this state of mind this state of mind is absolutely calm absolutely sure of yourself and you had the material abundance to back you up you know that you had a, you know like a pillow of money to fall back on just in case which is why you were so brave to defend yourself in that situation in the past you really had this family maybe you're in a family business and you're in a very good position in that family business so it strengthens you yeah so whenever these outside forces tried to bring you down you were absolutely sure of yourself you were in this mode the queen of pentacles knows that she is in full bliss and full abundance and that she's lacking nothing. So she's like reacting very, very calm to people who try to attack her. Um, so yeah, then we had the, for the moon, we had the clarifier ace of pentacles. So I told you with the moon that you are on a ship right now where you do not certainly know where exactly you will end up. But this is a gift from above. This is a huge gift from above because the Ace of Pentacles, it's talking about a new beginning. Yeah, a new beginning. Maybe you get a new job. Maybe you get a completely new thing to do. Maybe it's something you never did before. Yeah, um, but it's a gift. It's a very, very positive card for for any money reading in any money reading you want to see the ace of pentacles and <laughs> if it's perfect you also want to see the sun <laughs> but here with the ace of pentacles this is a huge gift from above and it's a material gift so it's something that you can touch see smell yeah it's it's either it's money or a car or a house or it's something that makes you really happy 
maybe it's just food maybe somebody invites you for a huge expensive dinner yeah but it's definitely something you will smile about yeah and this is in your present as a clarifier of the moon in the future we had the temperance and as a clarifier we had the two of swords and this fits really well because here we were talking about duality yeah and here you see the two uh, ravens around her head so you definitely have a choice to make here you're standing at the crossroads maybe two different people offer you two different jobs and they're each going in very different directions and you're thinking about you're strongly in your head yeah you're thinking about which one should i take if i take option a will i regret it if i take option b will i regret it so you're really really up in your mind about this you're in your head because you cannot see the future where it's taking you that's why the eyes are blindfolded here but you will make the decision because you tap into your purpose you tap into balance you take the golden middle way you make a very smart decision about this you will choose the best route of action for yourself you have the capability and you trust the universe so definitely for your future i see you standing at a crossroads here now i have two cards that fell from the positive affirmation deck we have there is no limit to what i can do and become so this is a very positive thing and then we have i will start from a place of gentleness so whatever this new beginning is that we have here you're starting from a place of gentleness and this gentleness is beautifully represented here by the moon and the temperance yeah this is trusting your intuition, trusting the divine will, and this is tapping into your life's purpose with gentleness, ease, grace, and balance. This is a fantastic reading, Virgo. I hope you did like the reading. If so, you can leave me a comment and tell me how exactly it was resonating for you. I was also very curious to hear that information because I'm a Virgo ascendant and i wish you a great day ahead thank you again for being here i love you guys bye